Hi, I'm Simon Ward. I'm a deputy editor at Failing Park High School uh, with a particular focus on the standards agenda. Well, the assessment lead programme was something that we felt was really necessary uh, as an investment in understanding assessment across our school. Um, as a school, we do try to become quite forward thinking. And uh, one thing that we realised through our curriculum design and development, that there was a disconnect between how people uh, linked curriculum and assessment and actually their true understanding behind that term assessment. So although um, across a lot of schools that we might all consider that we really truly understand assessment, actually we're in a position that we we perhaps know terminology like formative assessment, summative assessment very well, but we don't truly understand uh, the true nature behind assessment design. And we felt that the assessment uh, academy programme, the assessment lead programme, was going to give us an insight into research. As a school, we do really invest into that culture around uh, professional understanding and professional research whenever we um, engage in development opportunities. And um, as the assessment leads programme um, was effectively uh, identifying, co combining together an awful lot of research for us into one place, it meant that it was very accessible. So that when we did our assessment and development design, um, we would be at the forefront of education, we would be able to implement a change which was effective and based around um, research and understanding as opposed to perception and belief. And that true link between um, breaking down perception and belief and basing education around understanding research, those elements is um, crucial if we want to have maximised impact. Um, well, we are, once again, we're a great believer in doing things the right way. So when we've implemented this change, we've been really considered in the approach that we've taken to this change. So we um, have started off by looking at myself, the head and our data lead, um, working together to truly understand assessment in the first instance. That process in itself has taken a large period of time. So um, I would say that the programme's taken approximately six months for us to do. And what, we'd, what we've done within that is had a lot of professional data dialogue. Um, obviously we've used the online portal to um, engage in our own learning and our research um, but what's been fantastic is the fact that we've had that opportunity to really digest and understand the, the, the process of assessment first before we've tried to implement the change across our school. What we've then started to do is look at some key elements that we think are really, really useful for our middle leaders. And we've started at that approach. So um, the four pillars of assessment um, is obviously a good starting point with in particular focus around purpose of assessment and using that as the backbone for the implementation of the change. So at the, our middle leadership forum, We've spent an awful lot of time looking at assessment design with purpose at its focus, engaging our middle leaders in a professional dialogue around that, and then um, beginning to have conversations with others, but at this stage really keeping it at that level. Our next steps is obviously focusing around two of the pillars first, purpose and validity, and then starting to look at how we're going to use our middle leaders as a catalyst to implement that change um, across other areas. That will then obviously tie in with our plans to develop additional assessment leads, which will be uh, based around our faculty areas to support um, the implementation of the change. Um, a key impact for us is uh, consistency. What we want to do is we want to elevate everyone's understanding across the school to have a consistent approach, consistent understanding related to the professional research around assessment. What we want them to do is really question their own ideals and understanding and belief system around assessment and actually take educated risks around the implementation, the design of assessment so that um, what they're trying to do is really create bespoke assessments um, within a lesson, within a series of lessons, and then in conjunction with their heads of faculty across a scheme of learning, which really identify, um, identify and are useful in improving outcomes for pupils.